Hello people, welcome back to a new episode of Blitz Gaming. I'm sorry I've not made a video for a while, but I've been extremely ill, and I'll tell you about that as we go on in the game. So, a new game we have On The Road. It's a truck driving game, and at this time it comes with a rigged truck, and they will implement a uh, track truck in the very near future. So I'm just going through the graphics, uh, just messing around with the graphics. I'm not going to do anything flash because it's again it's early access. It's on Steam as an early access game. It's sixteen pound thirty, I believe. So we've got um, features for keyboard. Gamepad and wheel, I believe. So you've got a few changes there. I will be using keyboard. I think most people who play these type of games will be using keyboard or gamepad. Now I know there's quite a few people out quite happy to buy a steering wheel. At this time, I'm not going to buy one. So we just set up the name of name of the player, the company name. Now you're probably wondering why I'm playing this type of game and not uh, Planet Coaster. But don't worry, we'll be making a video very soon on Planet Coaster. So you can see the similarities if you play ETS, ATS. Uh, you, you make your company name, you pick your character, pick your logo of your company, and the type of truck you want, and the location you want your head office. Now I did notice a bug on your location. Um, when I started, he still said my base was in Berlin, even though I did actually pick somewhere else. So this is inside the truck. It's not bad, the cab. It's a little bit fuzzy. Now that may be down to the way I've got the graphics set up. I don't know. But I shall compare it to Euro Truck Tycoon and American Truck Tycoon. Or ETS, ATS, depends how you want to pronounce the games. So I wouldn't say it's crap, um, it's not brilliant, but this has got a lot stronger lighting in this game uh, than ETS ATS. Again it's early access, you just got to take it as it is. So this is your truck, so you can see it's a lot sharper, now I've obviously got a UK version here, but obviously in ETS you can go left or right. And there's obviously a lot of features where you can change the truck setups in ETS at this time. So the outside view. And the mouse is a bit jerky. Uh, I can't help anything about that. There's no settings I can find about changing the mouse. So you can see the graphics on the buildings. Textures are not that high, but then the textures are not that high in ETS or ATS either. Again, we've got the MAN or MAN truck. Um, obviously, this is a, a tractor truck, but they don't have box trucks or rigged trucks in ETS. They're not ones you can drive. They've got plenty on the road, but you can't drive them. Again, see the graphics. And then we put in ATS just for the hell of it. So you can tell. I mean, I'm not saying um, on the road's a better game in ETS, ATS. I mean, one thing about the American truck simulator, you actually got different style of trucks. And the scenery is obviously different as well. Otherwise, the games play literally are identical. So, 
So the overview screen, it's got welcome there, saying welcome basically to Trucking World, and about getting signed up with some companies, get some work. So I've got the truck um, on the vehicle screen, so it's brand new, and the stats of it and all sorts of stuff. Next button doesn't seem to do a lot. We've got default skin. Can't change that at the moment. I don't know if they've been implemented. I've not looked it up. Or as we level, like you do an ETS, you can change um, the features of your truck. And on the character screen, on the employee screen, we got licenses. Uh, it says obviously you've got to get them. Now, I don't know if that means, okay, when they bring in, you start off with a every good truck, and as things progress, they offer you another license to go over to a tractor truck, and obviously maybe doing things like chemicals, petrol, all sorts of things like that. I don't know at this moment in time. Okay, the map. Um, you basically, you click on the uh, a factory or company, see what you've got on offer. Now, obviously, some cities have multiple uh, businesses, so you can search around. But we just click on this one and we get some oil drums. Right, well, some features I think they need to add is one, it doesn't tell you how far the location is and it doesn't say, tell you how long it is and it's again the same on the sat nav doesn't tell you how far you've got to go and how long it's going to take which can be a pain especially if you just want to have, say okay I want to have a quick half an hour run because at this moment in time you can't save the game it does save but it seems to only save when you pick up a job and when you drop off a job so Make sure you remember that. Remember that. Remember that. Okay, I did say I was going to tell you the reason why I've not made a video for a while. The reason being, this time last year, I was diagnosed with asthma. Unfortunately, it took me four months to, to work it out. And I lost my hearing and I lost my voice in the meantime. So it was in possible for me to make a video um, of any other thing. Well, I wanted to speak on it, that is. Um, that's probably some of you quite happy to say, well, we don't want you to talk. <laughs> but that's uh, the reason. And on top of that, in September, I had a heart attack. So I was double stuffed. And now I'm trying to go over that, as well as the asthma. Because asthma just comes back when he decides it. Um, I'm on obviously loads of medication and I'm totally tired and exhausted. Um, so we're just trying to get on uh, as much as possible. So the biggest problem with this game, and I'll mention it uh, over and over again as we're playing, the driving experience in this game is terrible. Um, now I've read on the forums, it doesn't matter if you've got a steering wheel, now I'm playing with keyboard and it's if you see the steering wheel it turns a lot uh, but the truck don't go with it. it seems to be quite laggy and the time it responds you've usually gone everywhere but the road so we've got up to the old pickup point hopefully uh, as again I'm not playing it long enough Hopefully all the factories are not cut and paste. Uh, if you play ETS, ATS, there's dozens of different factories. Um, pick up points and drop off points. Which is good, makes it quite interesting. Now I'm not gonna tell you what we've got, not to buy the game. The idea of this video, you can see it yourself, how it plays and what you think. And I'll leave that to you. Again, at the moment, it's £16.30, I believe, in early access. And the game should get better as it goes along. Uh, again, as I said, 
This is a feature which is not in ETS, ATS. You can get outside your truck. The idea of it, you go up to the office, uh, which is on the right hand side there. And we've got another feature there where instead of driving into the box, like you're doing ETS, ATS, you have to drive it up to the door um, in the wall. Or in that case, into that square. Which is good, a bit different. Now I have seen a trailer where, again, uh, it's a live trailer, so it's in this game. So as you level, I've noticed that you can have um, doubles. So they have got doubles in the game, I'll let you know. But what level you gotta be to actually get doubles, I don't know. I will let you know over time. I will play it on and off, but as I said, it's very difficult to play at this time. And it's not just the steering, um, the acceleration. It's also a bit uh, difficult. It's like, as you see now, it's sort of like, bash of throttle, slow down, bash of throttle, slow down. You can't get a, a constant, well in ETS, ATS, you can get, Keep tap, tapping the key, you can get about three, four mile an hour constant. Nice, slow, smooth movement. Now, as a feature, I do miss on ETS, ATS. Now, it may be in the game, but I can't find it or get it to work. I can't stick my head out the window and look behind to see if we're reversing in the correct spot. So, I've got to use my mirrors. Again, it's early access. They may change that in the near future. So now I've got the job, get it in gear. Now, if you want to play this, I did notice if you tap um, the gear stick, oh, I think twice fast, it changes from automatic to manual. And if you do it again, it go from manual to automatic just in case you want to play in manual mode now I'm in a modern age and these days they sell plenty of trucks in automatic so I'm quite happy to play in automatic especially when I don't have a, uh, a gear lever and pedals now 20 years ago I would have said no you've got to have manual but as I said, they've got plenty of automatic trucks now, so I don't find it as a cheat as such. It is a simulator, so you want to try and play it as best as possible, as realistic as possible. With um, the items you got. So I've got to get some fuel. To the sat nav, got petrol station just down here. Now, see what this is like over ETS ATS. Now, I did notice that there's a lot of signs missing saying, okay, this is not the entrance, no entry, exit only. So I'm pretty sure we're driving in the wrong way. Oh well, a bit late for that now. So this has got a box on the road, um, on the tarmac. So we just park in there. Now if, if, if this was ETS, ATS, you turn off your truck, press enter, fill up your truck. Uh, but according to this one, we've got to get out the truck, find the uh, petrol tank, and then press the button. There we go. Now while we're on the petrol, um, there's actually another bug in the game. Now I've noticed when you obviously get your drive, the petrol gauge never goes down. So, which I thought was a bit bizarre. So 
we fill it up all the way anyway. You can see the, uh, the graphics on the station. They're not bad. Now, as I've obviously done a test run already, I've turned out all the petrol stations, well, all the ones I've seen, all the same. Which was, uh, I thought it was a bit boring. A bit of a poor effort on the manufacturer's side. Now, I don't know if they'll change it in the future. I thought if you're going to make a simulator, you want to try and make it is in a, in a way, at least make the scenery a bit um, a bit different, so it's not as boring. We get plenty of games where you got cut and paste, which we all hate. Okay, back on the road. Okay, graphics wise, um, as I said, this is done with the Unity engine. I'll take you to the latest version. Um, it's not Unreal. I mean, if you're looking for a simulator with Unreal style graphics, I don't think they exist. So, save yourself a problem. I'll try to look. Now, it's quite a journey to do. Now, as we, as we go on, if you look at the trees, uh, that looks so bad at the moment, but as time goes on, the trees start to glow. I can't work out why. It's the way the sun comes with the trees and they make them glow. It's a bit bizarre. Now, there is another bug. Um, when they have crashes in, the, in this game, you usually see them happen as you're driving. It's quite funny. There's quite a few smash-ups, big smash-ups. It's quite funny. And the only bad thing about it, it doesn't seem to reset itself um, when they crash. So sometimes a crash could happen before you before you see it. You thought, okay, is the traffic moving or is it not moving? And sometimes it, it's like, okay, let's get out of the truck, walk down the road, see if there's an accident. If there's an accident, you're better off just driving around it because you just won't get nowhere. And as I said before, you can't save it. Um, so it's basically the only way you get around it is drive around it and you, you're only safe when you get to the end of your journey. I mean you can press the reset button F9 in case you crash and go down the dip. I think it's F9 uh, and it just dumps you back on the ground. But it doesn't dump you back on the road in the, in the right direction, it just makes you, if you're stuck, The AI at this moment, I think, is slightly better than ETS ATS because if you play ETS ATS, everyone knows that the AI, as far as it's, the AI is there, I think you, can, you don't exist on the road, and you or you shouldn't be on the road, and it's quite happy to ram you out of the way. Like I say, for me, the biggest problem at this moment is the driving. I mean if it drove nice and smoothly and uh, I'll be quite happy to play and get up to like level 10, 15 and see what other features come in to tell you a lot about them. But because it plays, plays so poorly in the driving side I just can't play it. It literally is too frustrating. I have played around with the, uh, the settings on the steering wheel and it's not really made any difference. So as I said, it's not me, it's the way the game plays. Um, according to my frame counter, uh, the way I've got it set up at this moment, I'm doing nearly between 75 and 100 frames a second. So it's not the laggy game, it's basically game code. And another thing now, I've never driven in Germany and I can't remember what the lights are like in ETS uh, but it seems like it's stopping on the white one or an amber 
and it looks like amber, red, and green. But as you watch the lights change, it's always the same colour. It's a bit uh, bizarre, it needs to be fixed. Okay, in just in case you think it's my com computer, uh, I've got to admit it's going to be old, but um, there's my specs. And it works fine. I uh, plan to update it this year. Probably get a new um, AMD 3 Series processor and update it to some new graphic card. But at the moment, it can stay as it is. But I think it works fine on every game I've got. So I've got no complaints there. Again, if you look at the trees, they're starting to glow. Um, but <laughs> as we go on, it gets quite bizarre. Um, it does have, by the way, a day-night cycle. It does rain. And the rain effect's not bad. They're actually quite good on the road. You get puddles, uh, which is quite good. And I don't know if it affects the way the figures work. Now, uh, that's something I couldn't tell. Especially with a keyboard. Anyway, um, so now we're leaving town. I don't know if there's a fog, snow, sleet to be coming in again. Again, you can see there where we're getting faster. Try and go around the bend. It's a nightmare. And you just trying to slowly take control of the truck again and other things as I said there's no way to speed up the metals um, it's quite slow looking over to the right hand side into your mirror now, it's probably a keyboard shortcut again I'm not managed to work the keys out at this time I think it's two keys you've got to press to actually look around So I'm trying to set it up as the same way I play ETS. So I look around with a mouse, drive with a keyboard. Now VR wise, I've got no idea if they plan to bring VR into the game. I'm not quite sure if there's VR in ETS. I know there's loads of people talking about it on the forums, but if it's implemented yet, again, I don't know. Again, um, it's one of those features I've not decided to spend money on because being a VR is quite an expense. Uh, it doesn't matter how you look at it. And if you wanted VR, you know, again, you'd be wanting the um, steering wheel pedals and the gear stick to go with it. So you won't probably end up spending a thousand pound just to have the, the experience, um, which is quite a lot of money. Now, if you want to learn to be a truck driver in real life I suppose it could be a good thing but for me I'm just a gamer um, I don't want to go that way at this moment in time now if you look at this tunnel I thought it was quite odd driving this tunnel the, uh, the viewing angle is quite nasty it looks like the roof's going to fall on your head um, and I was actually glad to get out of the tunnel I have to say <laughs> Uh, it's, it is a bit bizarre. I would like to look out the window and look at some scenery but it's so hard to drive it's like okay we can't do that at this moment in time it's one thing about ATS ETS uh, one of the reasons I like the games I find the games quite relaxing nice scenery to look at now this is a scene where if you look at the trees they start glowing a bit funny and it's just not real. It's not real. I don't care anyone says it's, it's just not normal. And when it's raining and the sun's 
as it is, the road grows a lot as well, which is quite awkward to drive in. Let's quickly do uh, an outside view. Sorry for the mouse speed. Again, it's uh, there's no way to set up the mouse. It's one minute fast, next minute slow, and it's jerky. So I'll just try and go through the views and just try and look at the keyboard controls. So on the camera views. Oh, this is above the truck. Um, we'll go driving. Not the head on the lights. They've been driving with you, if you want to. Don't sound very good on the acceleration in and on, in and on off. That's one thing when you're in a cab, you can't hear a lot of sounds outside. Another view there, chase view. Again, um, it's early access. We'll see what happens in uh, the future. Again, as I said, uh, petrol stations seem to be extremely similar to each other. The PPM have got different versions of petrol stations. Down there we um we have control, crushing, this happens a lot unfortunately. Again it's very, very difficult to control. Now I've got to say, I mean, in theory, I could it could be the way trucks drive, but I doubt it. And ETS ATS is made a bit um more of a gamer style. But I am a driver in real life, not a truck driver, you know. <laughs> I certainly don't drive like that in real life. Got too close to the light, so I have to make sure I get the outside view. That's what the light was. Now, I haven't noticed that um, if you do go for the light, you don't get fined at the moment. Now, there's a classic spot there of the, the trees, very glowy. And it only seems to affect the right hand side, not the left hand side. I'm not quite understand that. Yeah, so you don't get fined for crushing. We well, don't get, um, don't lose any money for crashing at this moment, and you don't get damaged to your tr truck. Now, well, saying you don't get damaged to your truck, well, I have had it a few times, but I'm not I've managed to get in gear. And it's made a funny noise, so I think there's some sort of um, implementation of damage, uh, but it does actually come up the screen saying you've got damaged your truck. time. I don't know if it gets any darker than this, so I've not noticed. And the lights, I'm not going on full beam. Um, so I don't know how much you can end up seeing on the road. And I'll probably end up uh, doing more light work as the game progresses. I'm going to just drive into a garage, a truck stop. Um, if you've got an ATS player or an ETS player, 
it's very similar. Except all the garages are the same in this one. Um, the petrol wise, station bit. No, this is the only truck stop I've been in, so I don't know if they vary in uh, the looks and where you park. And we'll just take this one. Now, the other thing is, um, at this moment in time, now I'll take it they will be bring in, I was it won't be much of a simulator. It doesn't tell you that you've got to sleep. Where in ATS, ETS, there is a, so many hours you're allowed to drive before it's, you've got to sleep. And it does have a bit of a function where you, if you don't sleep in ETS, ATS, if a police car turns up, she will find you constantly until you stop in a parking bay. And the screen goes black, it's like you're blacking out, falling asleep uh, as well. So I hope they bring it into this game. I was a bit pointless, I was, as a simulator. So now we're getting to the end of uh, the gameplay. Would I recommend buying it? Well, it's early access. So you got to just remember it's got bugs um, galore, lots of features missing, probably lots of features that won't work. And as you've seen, I've told you several times, it's very, very difficult to drive. Um, they have stated it's £16.30 on Steam and the price will go up as the game gets closer. Uh, to its final um, release date. Now I think the same uh, if you bought ETS I think that's £15 minus any DLCs and I think ATS is the same amount of money as well £15 so they work perfectly uh, so if you wanted to get in the truck in I would suggest you if you want to ETS is way bigger than ATS um, I think ATS has probably got slightly better graphics uh, in scenery wise it's just the way America's set out in the meantime we've got to park this truck we've just been to the, the checkpoint in the office um, get a check in and we've got to reverse it back into the door now while we're here now when they bring in tractor trucks uh, with the trailer, this doesn't look like a very large area. Um, so I only presume that if you got uh, a trailer truck, that they must have different drop-off points. Now I'm way out of line. Uh, let's see, if we get in here. Back and forward a couple of times. Should take your time. I know, uh, put green. Oh, and we parked as well. Looked like we were quite a way up. We'll check in a minute. Um, how close we got. So we got delivered, it says we've done um, no damage, even though we crashed several times. Reputation is still zero. So let's have a look, well according to that we're miles out, so I think they need to tighten that up. Um, I won't say it's a bug, but it's like, okay, to be skillful in the, in the job, um, that certainly wouldn't count, so I need to change that. Um, as the game progresses. Okay, it's out. Have fun all, and I'll see you in the next episode of Blitz Gaming.